It's a very, very special guest that you guys are here. You guys will have good energy, and you guys will have positive impact, and you guys will have healing. Amen. So I, I just wanted to tell you guys, too, about a year ago, uh, Rabbi Shalom Arushi was here, and I had no idea who he was, and we ended up doing a group similar to this. So anyway, after he left, um, you know, I, I investigated and I and I started reading some of his books, and my goodness, like his books changed my whole life, my my whole spirituality, like it just went up to the next level. So I'm like starstruck right now. You know, it wasn't the first time because I didn't know what he was all about, but after reading his books, like it took my spirituality to like a whole different game, and like the quality of my life has improved so much thanks to. Rabbi Shalom Arush, so I'm very honored, very honored. Yeah. We're honored by you this guys. Tony, we're honored by you. This is Tony, Rabbi, tell me, I need to buy books on Guard of Faith. I need to buy more. Put it here all the time. I see you, man. I didn't get the kiss, you know. What Rabbi Nachman is saying, Rabbi Nachman was, was a teacher that basically 250 years ago, he basically wrote a lot of books on resilience, on faith, etc. I recently lost my son three weeks ago. Literally lost my son to cancer. And if it wasn't for these books and if it wasn't for my spirituality, I would probably be on the other side of the, of the room right now. So I just want to explain to you that the, the power of faith and the power of having a strategy, there's no question we're going to have brokenness in life, but not everybody can get up. And this is what faith allows you to, to be able to get up. And the saying is, faith in the soul is one. To the extent that we are able to infuse faith, our soul, we vibrate with energy, we vibrate, etc. We can handle tough obstacles in life. But when, when we don't have faith, our soul shrivels up. And we, we can't express our inner emotions. <laughs> so one of the things that the rabbi speaks a lot about is life is happening for you, not to you. That ultimately our higher self is always pulling us in an area of growth. But when we don't grow, what happens? We get wake-up calls. And these wake-up calls are really blessings in disguise. So a lot of his books are on this concept that life is happening for you, so thank you, thank you, Creator, for your addiction. Thank you for your challenges. Because if not, you would never have a spiritual breakthrough. If it wasn't for my addiction, I would have never have enough leverage to go seek spirituality. And when we have that mindset, then we're able to say thank you in advance. And then when we say thank you in advance, that's a muna. First of all, <laughs> We have to laugh. Yes. <laughs> it's been two years since he was the rabbi and all of us were here together. Maybe not all of you, but for us. It's two years ago. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember. We got an anniversary. Okay. And we're very glad to be here today. Very happy. Yeah. Our creator. He loves you. The suffering that the most to our Creator is that you guys, including myself, don't realize how much God loves us. The rabbi knows, I don't. We have an evil inclination. The Rabbi Nachman, his rabbi all the way back, the, who he follows his, in his teachings, that he wrote in the Kutimaron, in his holy book, the gathering of teachings, that we have 
a good inclination and a not good inclination. And the good inclination is our good thoughts, and our not good inclination is our bad thoughts. And our evil inclination teaches us in the wrong way that we should hate our, that Hashem, that our Creator hates us. And that's complete falsehood. Why is this falsehood? Because everyone here, if you ask them, if you, yeah. if, you, if you love your child, your son, your daughter, sure you do. Most people would say, yeah, for sure, 100%. The Creator, He puts in, into us love, a love of, of a mother loving their children, is part of nature. And you don't need to learn it, it's just part of reality. It's not something you need to learn, it's, it's a love that's part of everyday life, it's the truth of creation. Why? So it's the, the proof is that I received this love from our Creator to love our children. It's a part of reality. And for sure, the Creator is no less than me. And in, in this aspect, so the, for sure the, the Creator for sure loves us. If we love our children, how much more so is our Creator going to love us? He's for sure not less than an everyday person, how much the Creator loves us. Yeah, we need to make it real for ourselves. So we, uh, at least we're saying that He for sure loves us as much as a person loves a child, as a child of theirs. So we have to make it sure, but in reality He loves us much more than we love. The Creator loves us much more than we love our children. Much more. Smile. 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 You have to be happy. At least try. Smile. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> First we're going to speak about Amuna, belief, faith. <laughs> What is true faith, intrinsic faith? Amuna is equal. That our Creator always loves me. That's if you make an equation, our Creator always loves me equals intrinsic faith, true faith. And He wants to only do good. Amuna, faith, true faith. And when you say true faith, equals our Creator, always loves me. And He wants to only do good. As Gedalia said, he only wants to do good for me. Because you want to make true, faith, real. true faith is that your Creator loves you, and yeah. He only wants the best for you. Yeah, the best for that's me. What, yeah. That's what real faith means. They're true Amuna. Yeah, the, say the last part. The, the creator that you create. 
Yeah, right. Right. Unfortunately, we have what the rabbi is saying is sometimes so we that's have the idea. Different... It's a very deep concept. The, right. the creator you created right. Right. is one who doesn't love you. You created a creator that doesn't love you. The true creator loves you. Yeah. The one, if you start to think that you, the creator doesn't love you, that's not the creator that created you. You, you yourself created this. This is from the bad thoughts in your mind. The truth is the Creator loves you. And He only wants good for you. This is true faith. This is actually a really small level of faith. A person has to go over this again and again. Then he'll come to complete healing. And he'll always be happy. And if comes upon a person fears, what? how can this be? What just yeah. And comes different kinds of anxieties. There's only good for me. He always has an answer back to the fears, to the anxieties, because this only good happens to me. And if he's sad, said, only good happens to me. So this is the true faith that he's talking about. Small. After a lot of work. This brings us to the full healing that we're all looking for. Right, like you guys have a lot of courage to actually say, you know, I need help. And this is the beginning yeah. of everything. Yeah. You open wanting the, the courage to, to want to be in a place. It's not easy. It's not easy. The detoxes and, and, the, and the nausea. You should understand you have tremendous courage. And that, that alone can can start the fire. And then now you have to build the mindset. You should understand the, the fact that you have that courage can elevate you just like that. This should be written on every wall. To go over and over that how much our Creator loves us. That God should give me this kind of true, clear faith. Pray for it. You should ask for it. Tamely, give to me. It's not just written on the wall. You have to actually ask for it. So that you become part of this prayer for this true clarity of true faith. We have to pray to surrender. We have to pray for the... We think we could just surrender. No, we have to physically pray for it. We think, oh, I just know the concept. It's good. No, it's... One thing is understanding the concepts, one thing is bringing it down to your heart. Yeah, so by saying it, it brings it down, exactly. Came to the rabbi, uh, a lady. She had such anxiety. And she was all the time scared. He said, repeat after me. True faith. The Creator, that He always loves me, and He wants only good for me. I would say this many, many times. That's what He said to this lady. Couldn't believe it. Suddenly, all went away. All the anxieties, the fears, just from a conversation, repeating these words again and again until she, it actually impacted her. And the Rav said, and I live, you have to live this now. The Rav lives this. He, he's worked on this for years. And everyone should say after. And then it will go into their heart. Because it's in his heart. Because he knows, the rabbi knows this. He doesn't just believe like uh, superficially. He knows this in experience. He's living it. That he knows that the Creator loves every single one of us. So we have to say it again. Amuna, true faith. 
Abore, Creator, Tami Doemoti, always loves me, Tami Dieni, He's always with me, and He only wants good. True faith, Abore, our Creator, our creator. Always loves me. Always loves me. And he's always with me. And he's always with me. And he's only good. He's only good. Emuna. True faith. Our Creator. Always loves me. Always loves me. And he's always with me. And he's always with me. And he only wants good. He only wants good. <laughs> His rabbi, Rabbi Nachman, of a place called Bresa, that was where he was from, wrote that the evil inclination of a person this is the aspect of imagination. He also wrote, Rabbi Nachman, the way to clarify your imagination is through true faith. And that means to get rid of the delusions, to get to the true faith. That the way we fix our evil inclination, the negative thoughts, is through true faith. What is the evil inclination? That he all the time says bad things. And, and saying there's evil all the time. True faith. There's no bad in the world. <laughs> and the, the moment and each one of us here, every individual, each one of you and me, believe in the true Creator, <laughs> not just intellectually, <laughs> rather the way that He just taught us, <laughs> that you do it with true faith, where it comes knowledge and life, <laughs> then you'll be healthy right now. And you're always going to be happy. <coughs> Your intellect's always saying things. It's not good for you. Things are not good for you. All the bad thoughts that come to us all the time, putting us down, making us feel low. This is just the evil inclination. This isn't us. It's lies. It's complete lies. The truth. From this moment now, you need to think. And no, and no. That the Creator loves you. And so he only wants good for you. Yeah. Oh, you won't have any of those bad thoughts anymore because it's so clear to you. And you're going to be healthy. The, the, these negative thoughts won't be attacking you anymore because you're clear. Illness only comes from this belief in not good and bad. And for thoughts that are not good, really, illness is bad thoughts. So you want to make another equation? Illness is bad thoughts. Smile. <laughs> you guys have to also understand, you guys are all very, very spiritual people, because otherwise you would never be seeking relief. So it's kind of non-negotiable. Because you have very high souls, you have to seek spirituality. So your Creator will do whatever He has to do to get your attention, so you get spiritual. Through, in, through inspiration or desperation. Yeah. You have to, that has to be a belief also. That mm -hmm. you, we may give up on ourselves, but he doesn't give up on you. So that's why we get the same lesson in life because we pass it. 
So that's the concept of this concept that he's always doing it for me. If I keep on relapsing, it goes, maybe it's because wor- there's something that I'm not dealing with in recovery. It keeps on coming back. So that's the concept that he's always doing it for you. It might be rough. It might be rough, but at the end of the day, it's happening for your benefit, because otherwise you would never really realize why it was happening. And you would never turn to help. Otherwise you would say, I'm out of the problem. This is as a seven-time relapser in gambling. So what I'm telling you, when I relapse seven times gambling, believe me, I was getting the same lesson, but at the end of the day, it was happening for me, not to me. And that's a, it's a very strong concept that your creator creating a whole world for you. It's very important that we don't have the wrong image because of our mindset of what our creator is. And that can create distortions, that can create despair, that can create all kinds of illusions that don't exist. What exists is that he loves you. But if we don't love ourselves, we don't bring him, we don't let him in. This is what we have to do. We have to let him in through opening up our hearts, not figuring it out. Why this happened? This just open the heart. Good. All the illnesses are from bad thoughts. A bad thought comes from evil inclination. It's like an equation, this, this, this. Very clear. And the, yet the evil inclination is chasing after ourselves. Hashem is the problem. Hashem is the problem. The blame, the problem, the blame. The problem is this force that's chasing us, making us feel low. This is this is where it's coming from. It's coming from the evil inclination, mm-hmm. and it wants to bring ourselves down. Wait, 90 percent of our thoughts that are negative the thoughts are coming he's from guilty. Our guilty. thoughts of the past, guilty. guilt, shame, yeah, fear, etc. He's the guilty party. He's this guilty. evil inclination that's causing us all these problems. So the way to beat it, he's saying, is the way to beat it is through faith, because faith puts you in the present moment. When you're in gratitude, you're in the present moment. You're no longer in the past. The past itself is a residue of all the bad thoughts in the past. So when you say you have gratitude, when you start doing something, you're now reinventing your reality, creating light instead of fighting darkness. Sometimes in life, we don't have to beat the beat the we, we don't have to beat the past. You just have to create new. We think we have to go beat the past. Who says that? Who says that? Sometimes you just have to recreate. And that's what he's saying here. You, you want to create. If I believe that he has a new love for me, it's a new relationship instead of fighting why the old relationship didn't work. Just trying to clarify the words for you. Yeah, guys. The, the, son, uh, the son of the rabbi is helping the rabbi understand, make sure he knows what the daddy is saying. Right. Uh, Please repeat after the rabbi. Thank you. 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 Creator. Creator. For the chair. Thank you. Creator for the chair. Thank you. Creator for the chair. Thank you. Creator for electricity. Thank you, Creator, for the electricity. Thank you, Creator, for the electricity. Thank you, Creator, for consciousness. Thank you, Creator, for every breath I take. It's a good song as well. Thank you, Creator, for every breath I take. Thank you, Creator, for giving us the ability Thank you for giving us the ability to come close to truth faith. Thank you for your ability to come to truth faith. True faith. True faith. Yeah, what do you do, faith? True faith. I'm trying to change the one. I'm going to say, 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 so when the rabbi went to the bathroom just before we started, he, on the way and the very back, he was thanking God, his creator, our creator, for the, the, the mind, the water, for the towel to clean dry the hands, for the beautiful place that you're all in. Simple things, but you do that on a constant level, it will 
bring it to happiness. כמה שאתה אומר, כל תודה, אפילו אתה אומר שישב ויגיד, תודה בורא, תודה בורא, תודה בורא. כל תודה שאתה אומר, זה ממש פותח לו את השער להיות מחובר עם הבורא. This is powerful, that every thank you you say will open up the gates to be connected to, be to, connected to, our, to our Creator. So the power of just saying thank you, little things, will open up gates to connect you to the Creator of the whole world, and all the universe, and everything. Thank you very much. It just simply says, thank you very much, Creator. Just thank you. <coughs> Just saying thank you. Thank you, Greg. Yeah. yeah. Gets rid of, as Gedalia is saying, gets rid of the negativity. <coughs> Good. Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Abuela. Thank you, Abuela. Okay. Yes, yeah, so he's being specific not to say because we're, in the, in the, in the, we're trying mm-hmm. to be universal yeah. and it's the creator, it's okay. everyone. It's not, it's not <coughs> one specific name. <laughs> Thank you, creator, for our smile. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Now you need to smile. You <laughs> say thank you for you. Very good to say thank you for the smile, but we're not smiling. Thank you, Creator. Thank you, Creator. For the smile. Thank you, Creator. Smile. 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 Thank you, Creator. Smile. Smile. No, no. Yeah, yeah, smart. Yeah. Again, again, let's again, again. Let's We're going to do it again, guys. Let's not give up on this. Muna, true faith. True faith. True faith. Creator. Creator. Always love me. Creator. Always loves me. Always wants to do good. Always wants to do good. True faith. True faith. Creator, always loves me, and he's always with me, only good, true faith, our Creator, always loves me, he's always with me, only good, only good, Thank you. <laughs> Hashem is the word Thank in you, Hebrew Hashem. for creator. Thank Same thing. Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, creator. Thank you, creator. Thank you, creator. Thank you, creator. Thank you. Everyone, the, the, yeah. the rat sings, we're going to sing now. No, but tell me. All, all he does for me. All he does for me. For all he does for me. Creator, this is part of the words. Ah. All he does for me. So we're just helping, we're getting the words clear. Thank you, Creator, for all he does for me. Thank you, Creator. Thank you, Creator. Thank you, Creator. All he does for me. Thank you, Creator, for all he does for me. Dibati, 
Whoever says this. Whoever says this. This is the essence of all of life. A good life. Good life. This is the essence of a good life. Do this again and again and again. Gedalia is going to write this, these phrases and these simple sayings. And he's going to, our, our friend here is going to learn the book of the Garden of True Faith. And it's going to help everyone here because the, once the People teaching and therapeutic people know. When you feel when you feel blessed in life, you look at everything blessed. Oh. You don't look at it as yeah. a curse. Italian is better. So it's a feeling, you know. It's not, but when I feel that everything is cursed, then I interpret everything as a curse. Yeah. So the real flip is really inside. Uh, it's not outside. It's an inter- interior flip yeah. of consciousness to say, I am blessed. It's becoming I more be broken, but I am blessed. It's more self-awareness. Eventually you'll get to that point where you'll get the light again. Yeah. But if you believe your curse, then you want to run away from your creator, versus approach your creator, which is life, which is the basis of this concept. Yeah. And there, there are lots of recovery slogans that we hear about when we get into the 12-step program. And one of them, I'm sure every single person in this room has heard of, keep it, keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, you, kiss. You hear, yeah. So, like, simplicity is one of the most beautiful spiritual principles that is. That's one thing that I learned from the rabbi's books. It's all about simplicity, you know. With addiction, it is such a thinking disease, and there's so much negativity, and we're constantly pressure tripping and thinking. And it's exhausting. It really is exhausting. And what I found out is the, you know, the more I work on my faith, the more I dig into my spirituality, the less thinking I have to do. Like the thinking just starts kind of disappearing. And it, it, and that's what spirituality is able to do for me because I don't like overthinking. Overthinking leads to over drinking, and I'm not trying to overthink anymore. I'm just trying to keep things very simple. It's all about keeping it simple. And, the, and you brought that up. Well, I just want to say one point myself. Personally, I, I had the merit to travel with the rabbi. And I didn't grow up involved with this kind of lifestyle or anything of this. And as someone who has the merit to work with the rabbi, I've seen on these trips that he's living everything that Leon was mentioning about the simple life, that simplicity. And it works. It really works. Like It really <coughs> brings joy. All the little things we were just saying before about going to the bathroom, the simple things. I watch it on a daily level, even after we haven't slept, we're traveling with this, with that, and I'm sure even more so, his son has seen it, and his grandson, I don't know where he is, but oh, there he is. So we, he's, they've seen it on a real way, and it so it shows to us, it gives us true a belief, that, for me personally, that there is a person that exists in the world that can actually achieve this, mm. this kind of, so it is, it is achievable, it's not just up in the clouds, it's down here for us to also live happy lives. It keeps you present. I mean, yeah. we're all fighting between you and me, guys. I think we're all busy fighting the past, and the past is already done. So I mean, there's, nothing's going to come out of that. So we can recognize that concept that we can't fight the past anymore. But you can't stop. You can't create something new. And that's really, really the essence of creating, being, being mindful. Association versus disassociation. But past is over. And this is what we don't want to cry about the past. We want to start creating the future. Because the best revenge is massive success. The best revenge is massive success. No, when you do that, you're free. The belief that you love, you'll interpret life as love. You know, sometimes God has to break your soul, break your heart to save your soul. He has to put, get you out of a horrific uh, relationship to save your soul. He's doing it for you. But you might look at why my creator doing that. But when you know he's doing it for you, you could say, thank you for breaking my heart to save my soul. That is the concept of he's doing it for you. <laughs> How many times you're in a relationship, you're broken, you're used, next thing you know, you recognize, oh my God, what was I thinking? And that's a thousand times. So we have to believe that he's saving you. Your higher, your higher self is always communicating with the lower self. But we, have, we don't want to numb that voice. You have to hear that inner voice, that gut. 
But when we use, unfortunately, when we numb that inner voice, we get lost in life and we develop a dysfunctional relationship with our Creator. The best advice is to keep going over what the rabbi taught you so that it become <coughs> hard, keep it to small and to keep it very clear <coughs> and simple. The simple, your love. Your the love simple the truth blessed. that you're loved and that you have a creator that loves you and he only wants good for you, <coughs> he's always with you. These simple truths to keep them very close to you and to work on them as the rabbi has done for thousands of hours. He's admitted himself, this is something he's done and lives. And that's something we can learn <coughs> and, and also bring to our own lives. Amen. One more time. Smile. Guys. Smile. Otherwise we're going to put a, t- a, a pencil in everybody's teeth. So you're going to have to smile. <laughs> There is a, in the pharmacy, <laughs> in the pharmacy, yeah. Oh, it's great. Had to help you laugh and smile easy. Imagine, this is a special spray that you can get from the pharmacy. What kind of pharmacy has this spray that can make you smile and laugh? It's in his books of the Garden of Muna. That's the pharmacy. This actual book is called The Garden of Healing. So he literally has a book which is going to teach you how to smile. Easy. It doesn't cost anything. Okay. Everyone, let's go over. Munah, true faith. True faith. True faith. Our Creator. Our Creator. Always loves me. Always loves me. He's always with me. And he only wants good. Just remember this. Only remember this. This from this whole session. It's very small, very easy. This is everything. With this, you'll have good thoughts. And when the bad thoughts come, you'll be able to say, "Look, what is this? It's not true. All this kind of fears. What is this? Nothing to do with my. What is it? It's only good." Anything that comes to you, you just say back. It's only good for me. When you're feeling sad, it's only good for me. And then you'll receive this wonderful <coughs> blessing of joy, <coughs> happiness. You don't even have to go to the pharmacy. Very simple, very easy. This is enough to help heal all of us. Enough. Enough. So that's the idea. As a, as the wise son also says, you have to. The rabbi said, but he repeated it nicely. You have to bring it to a very simple, clear way that you can make it part of your life. It becomes you, not just. Something on the wall. You have to bring it inside you. Thank you. Do you guys believe that this addiction is a blessing in disguise? Yes. Do you guys believe it? Yes. Deep down in your heart? Yes. So you got to go all in. Deep down in your heart, you know you. You know this is a blessing in disguise. But it's, it's very painful. It's the second chance of life. Yeah. There's no question. But this addiction will get you to places where you would never would have gotten on your own. I guarantee you. It's hard to see that here. Hard to see that. But I promise you. Everybody that knows recovery, they're much better people than before. Why? 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 It's a lot of gratitude. It's a lot of gratitude. It's a lot of a small, it's a small book of laws of gratitude when you give everybody laws of gratitude. It makes an equation that gra- just like you have the law of gravity, you have the law of thanks. Or thank you. Thank, thank you. It's the same power, same reality. Don't become a heart holic Remember, there's an alcoholic and a heart holic Don't make things so hard. Just a disclaimer, I'm not videoing or picturing anybody here. 
except for the rabbi. Uh, what's his name? Uh, rabbi Ruth. Rabbi Ruth. Yeah. He wrote the book that he wrote is the Garden, the Garden of Faith. Yes, in English. You can look it up on uh, his books are millions, millions of copies. Thank you very much. Okay. So good. Thank you. Why are you spilling this book? Thank you. I got your book too. My little book. Oh, the big book. Big book. Sorry. The, the rabbi has it over there. Well, you can ask him for it. Thank you, guys. Be healed. We want you all to be healed. Thank you. I have one of those. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The rabbi gives you all a blessing for healing. Amen. You got a blessing. Can I bless all of you guys? Yeah, no, this one says, "Be blessed." I just said that. That's great. Good. Okay. What's that one? A good sign when there's water. Why is it a very good sign? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, these not. I have every all of your whole collection. I got everything. Yes. Um, he 